hi friends this is Kaurav Paul welcome to my channel watercolors Kochia so guys uh, today I am going to make uh, uh, a painting of Castle Com uh, Wilshire a uh, very beautiful uh, town uh, somewhere in England so guys I have never been to this place uh, uh, but I like this photograph uh, very much uh, it's a beautiful composition of uh, uh, of some very beautiful uh, elements uh, uh, Especially I like the reflection of the house, uh, houses in the water and uh, the reflection of the bridge in the water. Uh, uh, I found it very beautiful. Okay, uh, so guys, uh, before uh, I talk about the painting, uh, the methodology, the techniques uh, and start explaining uh, things in detail, uh, like I always do, uh, I will again request and in fact advise uh, everyone, especially the ones who are uh, uh, new for watercolor, who have just started uh, their watercolor journey, uh, that they should always make a sketch of their painting. Okay. Uh, so the the picture or the sketch which you see uh, in the right hand side of the frame right uh, uh, that's the sketch which I drew before uh, starting the painting uh, actually starting on the painting okay and guys I find it very helpful trust me it's it's really very helpful especially when you are a beginner because uh, uh, first it actually it, it acts more like a practice of something which you will be casting uh, in your in your painting and uh, second <coughs> you get to know that uh, what all areas uh, what all things what all elements you have to keep uh, dark uh, you have to make dark in your painting and uh, uh, what you have to have uh, uh, lighter in your painting basically the concept of that light and dark uh, uh, you will uh, learn from that and uh, the third thing third thing is that uh, the way your pencil works uh, in a sketch right uh, same way your uh, hand works when you are working with the brush uh, so it, it's really very very helpful okay do try that if you have not been doing this uh, uh, trust me it will help you a lot you will start picking the watercolor paintings uh, much faster okay okay uh, so coming to the painting uh, so guys i am not going to uh, talk about the same stuff so which i have been talking in my previous videos about uh, the basic principles of the uh, the watercolor painting in detail uh, but in a very brief guys uh, uh, so that the the basic principle of working in layers is actually used by 90% uh, of the artist watercolor artist uh, they try to uh, complete their painting uh, in uh, two to three layers uh, the wash of water uh, then wet on wet and then uh, uh, wet on dry technique and then uh, at the end uh, some detailing uh, so basically your painting will get complete uh, generally uh, within these three layers okay uh, uh, so this this is not a hardcore rule guys uh, uh, you can always go for more layers uh, if you feel like okay if your painting require that okay and uh, maybe you can uh, uh, close your paintings even in the lesser uh, uh, layers also okay uh, <coughs> uh, guys I'm having a bad throat today so please don't mind that so guys uh, this painting i am trying to make as a, a loose painting i will try to avoid the hard edges in this okay and uh, when you're working uh, on the uh, loose painting try to make maximum use of your uh, uh, of your first layer that is where you have to work on the wet on wet uh, when your your paper is uh, uh, is wet is moist okay because that is a layer uh, which will allow you to uh, give uh, the, the better foundation of your elements okay and uh, it is a layer which allows uh, the, the colors to match um, itself uh, okay do not worry that okay if your color blends from uh, one color to another uh, uh, color okay it's 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 uh, it's a layer which is considered as a color it's uh, which is considered as a layer of nature uh, okay so let it happen okay and second thing which you guys have to learn is that when you're working uh, okay uh, in this layer uh, try to leave some white patches white spaces uh, maybe not too much but somewhere try to leave uh, white don't try to uh, pull up everything uh, with the color okay uh, this this makes your painting more lively okay like you you can see that i have left for those chimneys uh, for the windows uh, even somewhere on the pathway 
even on the walls of the bridges uh, and that that makes your painting very beautiful you if you have never done that earlier uh, try to build that habit it will uh, you will pick it up uh, uh, the more you will work uh, on the watercolor painting okay uh, you might have noticed that again in this painting i use the fork and uh, uh, i sprinkle some salt uh, on the flowers uh, which i have uh, in the left hand side corner okay uh, <coughs> So uh, for the flowers, uh, uh, so uh, I'll say that okay, when you're sprinkling uh, the salt, uh, don't sprinkle too much. Uh, it should be uh, very less in quantity, maybe just a pinch of it, okay. Uh, and then the uh, and it should ha you should do it when your paper is slightly moist, not too wet. Uh, it should be slightly moist, okay. Uh, you will also pick that up uh, uh, gradually when you will work uh, and when you will uh, start using uh, that as a tool in your paintings okay now uh, something which uh, uh, okay yeah uh, i will uh, now talk about the the reflections uh, uh, in this painting so like this is again uh, being uh, a painting which has some water in it okay and uh, that's uh, i found that to be a more important part in this photograph and this on in the painting also so when you're working on the reflections in the water okay do not try to define it too much okay uh, it should be just only an impression okay you don't have to make things uh, very precise in the uh, in the reflections okay it should just give a impression of uh, of an image uh, of a reflection okay so <coughs> another important thing is that uh, uh, like when you're working uh, in a loose painting okay try to avoid the hard edges uh, uh, don't have the hard edges wherever you find the hard edges use water to uh, to uh, just uh, make them uh, look more natural okay so for example like i am uh, uh, trying to uh, i will be casting some uh, shadow so here like i am uh, trying to cast a shadow of the uh, wall of the bridge right so after casting the shadow i will be using uh, some water uh, to allow that thing uh, to merge into the water naturally similarly for uh, that uh, black patches under the uh, arc of the bridge right uh, after uh, making those black patches I use some water to allow those patches to merge into the water just to make it look more natural uh, so uh, you have to do it that way only okay and uh, uh, yeah uh, so now I'm coming to the end of the painting just giving final touch to it and I used uh, very less uh, 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 parts where I try to uh, give more details uh, something like the the green uh, greenery I try to make more bold uh, somewhere in the on the arc of the bridge I try to make it a little bold okay uh, as it is a uh, loose painting you don't have to put a lot of things uh, in detailing uh, uh, just uh, wherever you feel like it is uh, done for you stop at that moment so here like I felt uh, I think uh, it's done for me okay so this is the final painting guys uh, i hope you have liked the painting uh, and the video okay uh, guys if you have any uh, suggestions feel free to park them in the comment section see you have a good day bye bye